All right, so let's take a look at this problem here and see if we can solve this without using the calculator. All right, so the the one thing I want to I want you to look at before we get into working this problem is of course we've got to deal with this number here. Okay? This all the this decimal with all the zeros. So the the main thing is converting this. Okay? Converting this number. Now, the one thing that you've got to understand is that if you have the log of b to the x with base b, okay, remember that logarithmic property that says if the base of the log and the base of the exponent are the same, then your answer is your exponent, all right? Well, here we've got log, and of course there's no base, right? There's no base. So when there's not a base written, it remember, it's understood to be base 10. So this is understood to be log base 10. So we need to see if we can rewrite this number as 10 raised to a power. All right. And so you see here this B here, that would be 10. And we can make this a 10. And then our answer would be our exponent. So how do we rewrite this number as 10 raised to a power? Well, let's just look at some other numbers. So if I look at 0.1, we know that's what? 1 over 10. And if I look at 0 0.01, that's 1 over 100. If I look at 0 0.0001, that's 1 over, I'm sorry, well, we can do that one. All right. So that's 1 over 10,000. And yeah, I mean, I, I meant to just put two zeros in a 1. That would be 1 over 1,000. So, so do you see the pattern here? You see, if I move the decimal place, and when I move it to the right to be in to the right of the 1, see here, I move it twice. Here I move it one, two, three, four times. Here I move it one, two, three times. Notice however many times I have to move it. See, here I had to move it one, two, three. I've got three zeros. Here I had to move it four. I've got four zeros. You see that? Here I had to move it twice. I've got two zeros and so on. So let's look at this one. Well, I'm going to move it, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You see that? 11 times. All right. So that means this is the log of what? 1 over, 1 over, and then I'm going to have a 1 with 11 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. But remember, the whole point of this is getting it written as 10 raised to a power. Well, how am I going to write this as 10 raised to a power? All right. So here's the, here's the other thing to keep in mind. I move this, what, one place to the right? That's 10 to the first. 100, well, we know that's 10 squared, right? Well, how many places did I move it? 1, 2. See, there's your exponent. How many places did I move it? 1, 2, 3. Well, what's 1,000? That's 10 cubed, and so on. So, oh, we figured something else out here, didn't we? So however many places I have to move the decimal to the right, that's going to also be my exponent. So this is log of 1 over 10 to the 11th, because remember, I moved it 11 places to the right. So actually, we don't even really need that step. I mean, you could put that step if you wanted to, but you don't have to. So however many places you have to move the decimal to the right, that's what your exponent's going to be. It's going to be 
10 raised to whatever that exponent is. But remember, I still need this to be 10 raised to a power. Well, don't forget, earlier in your algebra class, you learned that if you move something across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of the exponent. So that's going to be log of 10 to the negative 11. So all I did, I took the 10 to the 11th, moved it up to the numerator, changes the sign of the exponent. And so now, remember, this is understood to be 10 here. This 10 and this 10 are the same. So my answer is my ex exponent. And that is how you work that problem. So it doesn't matter how many zeros, doesn't matter how many zeros you have right here, just count how many places do you have to move to the right to get to the right of that one. And that's going to be your exponent down here. All right, so I hope this video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.